on the edge of the North York Moors, Peter's getting to know the ways of his colleagues at the practice. I've noticed Hannah here, like all youngsters, they don't have the breakfast before they come to work, do they? No. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll be glad of the energy from his oats today. Oh, she's heavy now. Because one of his oldest clients, Margaret, has arrived with heavily pregnant former Crufts Prize winner, Maisie. She's very heavy and well, and she, she's just not getting on with the job. So I've had to bring her in as an emergency. I've spent two nights <laughs> with hardly any sleep worrying about her. How oh, Margaret? Now then. How's she doing? Not a lot. <laughs> I know you think she'd be missing about for a day or so now. Yeah. And, she, and she's due any day, isn't she? Yeah. Right, OK. Well, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just um, pop the scanner on as well. We'll yeah. have a quick look. We'll just check, make sure everything's OK. It's all right. Yes, it is. We'll look after you. You've got to come with me. Right. I'll take it to the scanner and I'll come and let you know what things are. Yeah. Right, come with me. I love her an awful lot, so... Just a bit numb at the moment. Right, Maisie, let's have a look. Let's Good have a look and see what we've got under there. We're seeing uh, a very viable heartbeat there. A good, robust puppy. You see the rib cage. You see the heart beating away quite happily. And uh, they certainly look of a size where they are ready to be born. Because Maisie is messing about. She's not progressing into second stage labour as she should be. In fact, she looks as if she'd rather go home and sit down and work, read the newspaper. We need to progress things. I think the best thing we can do for Maisie is to carry out a caesarean section. Just a little bit deep at the moment, I think, isn't she? Um, yeah, she started breathing a little bit, mm. but now she's... Just a little bit deep, right? Down, yeah. yeah. I just turned her down a bit. Yeah. Yeah, she's not relaxed, is she? No. She's not as stable as I would like under the anaesthetic yet. She's, um, she went a little bit deep and now she's a bit light. So we're just stabilising her now. She's not an easy one, is she? No, that's better, isn't it? What oxygenation levels have we got? 78% oxygenation, Peter. How many? 78. Is that all? It's the blood saturation of oxygen. Normally you're looking at sort of 98%, um, but this is quite low at the moment. The fact that she's not well oxygenated means the puppies aren't uh, as well oxygenated as they might be, and that's a concern, because obviously oxygen has to be carried across the placenta to the puppies. Um, so I'm going to have to um, get on expeditely as possible, really, to get these puppies out. I think that's it. Just the two. This is a little girl, so we have one of each. Brother and a sister. That one's going nicely. This one, not so much. A bit slow? A bit slow. Struggling a little bit to breathe at the moment. This is a crucial part now. They just need stimulating, really, rubbing them and making sure their airways are clear. And Mum Maisie isn't out of the woods either. She was uh, a little bit unsettled under the anaesthetic. What she like at your end, Anna? She's getting a little bit pantish, feeling that a yeah. bit. Oh. At the practice in Kirby Moorside, Peter's preparing for a reunion with two puppies he delivered by emergency C-section. I always enjoy this scenario where I've helped in the birth process. I'm just hoping that uh, they've developed into fine puppies, so we shall soon see. And Margaret's just arrived along with Mum. Hello, Margaret. Former Crafts Prize winner, Maisie. After they'd been born, Maisie no. didn't have much milk. No. Did she, did she come to a milk? No. She didn't? No. So you've had an uphill job yeah. then? Well, let's have a look at them. I think he'll get a surprise. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ho, 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 ho! 
Wow. Hello, children. Hello. Oh, oh lovely. Hiya. Hey. That's the boy. How lovely a little boy. You're examining me as much as I'm examining you, aren't you? <laughs> Shall we have a proper look at you? You're very forward, aren't you? A very forward little boy you are. <laughs> Have you got a name yet? William. 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 Oh, William. Let's have a listen to you. Very good. We're just checking his testicles because obviously with the male it's important that both are in the scrotum and they are. So I'm very happy about that. We'll get some vaccine. I'll be very brave, William, won't you, for Uncle Peter? And I'll be as gentle as I can. That's my side of the bargain, William. And you stuck to yours as well, didn't you? Has she got a name? Mary. Mary. William and Mary. Yeah. <laughs> we want a nice square bite across the front there, which we've got, checking her eyes. So we're happy with those. We need to check her heart. Lovely. Beautiful. Was the mothering instinct still there, even though she wasn't yeah. feeding it? Yeah. But there was nothing there. Nothing there, no. All they did was suck on skin. Mm. So I became mum. <laughs> and a very good job you've done as well, mum. There'll be no more babies for Maisie then? No, no. She's retired. Rearing puppies by hand and initially feeding them every hour, 24 hours a day, is no mean feat. It's credit to Margaret, really, and her experience in looking after them, because these puppies are physically in fantastic condition. Right, there we are. Carry on the good work. Nice to see you, okay. Margaret. Thank you. Thank you. We carry out the caesarean section, and then to see the outcome here is quite fantastic.